Hey guys, welcome to our tech support series here at Envo. My name is Amir and today we're going to demonstrate the removal and reinstallation of our Lynx controller. So the controller is based in this location here. So we're going to need to have the Lynx be in an upside down position. So let's first put the bike upside down, then let's have a look at the controller case. So now that we got our bike upside down, we have access to the controller and the battery. So first up, we're going to remove the battery connection cable. So we'll unscrew that and disconnect the battery. And just have that out of our way. We got four Allen bolts here that we want to unscrew to remove the top cap and have access to our controller. So let's go ahead and do that. We might need to cut this zip tie. All right, so now that we got those four bolts removed, we're just gonna carefully pull this top cap off. And you wanna be careful as the battery is still connected to the controller or the battery connection. So we'll just carefully pull that out and then we'll disconnect the battery cable, set that aside, and then we can just have access to our controller now and we'll pull the controller out. So the controller is held in there with some double-sided tape. So you kind of want to pry it away from the seat tube basically. That should loosen up the double-sided tape. We got all of our wires here. And the controller will just simply come out. Now that we have all the wires out here, it'll be a good idea to take a picture of all the wires and what they're connected to. So when we reconnect the controller, We'll know exactly where everything's going. So now we'll just disconnect all these connections and reconnect them to our replacement controller. All right, so first we want to just disconnect these three phases for the motor. These are for the motor. And then unclip all these. All right, so now we're going to set aside our faulty controller and replace it with our working controller. So let's go ahead and do that and pull this out. All right, so now let's reconnect all these wires and get our controller back in the box and our bike back in business. So we'll start with the three motor phases. Pretty simple, blue to blue, yellow to yellow, green to green. Got a couple wires here. Let's go here. Coolio. All right, so now we're gonna get our battery connector and plug it in. And we just wanna test everything and make sure that we got all the connections right. So we'll just plug this in. And we're just gonna turn the system on, run the motor, and run the PAS, to make sure everything's working well. So we'll just turn the display on. Check the throttle, nice. Check our PAS. PAS is working, cool. Now everything is functioning properly. So again, we'll just disconnect this battery. The 
that out of my way. Disconnect this as well. And we're just going to nice and neatly reinstall this controller back in its case. Make sure all our pins are secured. Nothing is loose. Okay, everything's good. So controller in. And then all of our connections will also go in here. Now that that's kind of set up, we'll get our battery connector again and plug it back. And we'll just line everything up. There we go. And we're just gonna put those four bolts back on and our bike's back in business. All right, so now we're gonna install this battery cable. So we'll just line it up, plug it in, and then we'll just screw in this piece, secure the connection, and that should be good. And that's it for the replacement of our Envo Lynx controller. Check out our YouTube channel for any more helpful videos and tips. If you have any more questions or need any support, please hit the link in the description below and that will guide you to our Envo Help Center. Thanks for watching guys and hit that subscribe button.